This tutorial demonstrates how you can use Maptitude to determine the areas closest to each of your facilities by creating areas of influence. These areas, also sometimes known as catchment areas, can be either straight line based or drive time based. Straight line based areas of influence divide a map into territories based on straight line distance from point features. For example, my working layer in this map is the landmark layer, and I've already created a selection set of hospital features. So I can choose Tools, Analysis, Straight Line Influence Areas. Choose the features to build the areas around. In this case, I'm going to use the Hospital Selection Set. And enter a name for the layer. Check this box if you want to calculate demographics for the areas of influence. There is also an option to create a report that will include a map of your areas of influence and any calculated demographics. I'm going to leave these options unchecked and click OK. Maptitude creates the areas of influence and adds them to the map, and, if you chose to calculate demographics, opens a data view with the results. You can see that when Maptitude creates straight line influence areas, it starts with a large circle that encompasses all of the points and then subdivides it based on the proximity to those points. I'm going to click the previous scale button to zoom back into the downtown area to take a closer look at these hospital catchment areas. And now you can see that everything in this area is closest to this hospital, and everything in this area is closest to this hospital. For more accuracy, you can use the street layer to build areas that are based on drive time or distance by using drive time influence areas. First, I'm going to hide the layer that we just created, and then make the street layer the working layer. Now choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Drive Time Influence Areas. First, choose the point layer and features to use, and, optionally, choose a weighting field. In this case, I want to use the landmark layer in the hospital's selection set again. I'm going to choose to minimize the travel time so that my results show areas based on the drive time to the nearest hospital. And finally, enter the maximum distance or time for the outermost limit of the catchment areas. For example, I'll set the maximum extent to be 30 minutes from a hospital. On the Options tab, make sure to check the Create Zone Layer box if you want to create a layer of the catchment areas. You can also create a table that assigns each street segment to a territory and shows those assignments with a color theme. I'll go ahead and use these defaults and click OK. Maptitude creates the zones for the area that was visible in the map up to a maximum of 30 minutes. Again, I'll click the previous scale button to take a closer look at the catchment areas. You can see that Maptitude has created a color theme on the street layer using the link table that was created. Each street is colored to correspond to its closest hospital. You can also see the area layer that was created. So, for example, if you are anywhere within this area, on the street shown in orange, the closest hospital to drive to is this one. Finally, let me turn off the drive time influence areas and turn back on the straight line influence areas. You can see that the straight line based areas are a fairly good representation of the catchment areas and should be acceptable for applications where less precision is necessary. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating straight line and drive time influence areas.